The bad news Max wanted to tell me? That car was stolen from Jeff Hartwell's house just a day after the auction. So what we would have to do is we would have to track down whoever stole Jeff's car who probably used it to transport Heather's body to Somerset Field. And that's all we have. That's it. Yeah, just, just give me the Oscar for best documentary already and let's be over with it, okay? <laughs> what am I doing? Nope. No, no, not gonna do it. You know, Q used to make fun of me for wearing a wristwatch. And I know I've said this before, but I wear it because time feels tangible when it's on. Because I know that it's, it's made up of all these components. And I can feel it right here on my wrist, all these little pieces working together in unison so that this thing keeps ticking. Like, I, I know that it's powered by a mainspring, and I know that the center wheel turns the pinion of the third wheel, I know the escape wheel drives the fourth wheel, and I know that I have to wind it, and it's less accurate because it's a goddamn mechanical, but I do it anyway because I like to know that all these little pieces are working together. I think about that, and then I think about a piece of footage that falls into my lap suddenly. And all of a sudden I'm up all night looking for cogs and wheels and I can't let it go. Nope. Can't do it, can't go digital. I had a sister. Her name was Casey, same as Heather's friend. Um, she died. She's 10. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's funny, like, I, I remember at the time she was first diagnosed, I, I just, I wanted to know everything about her disease because if I didn't know, like, how could I possibly know what kind of chance she really stood? So, um, I went to the library and I, I studied all day, sometimes at night, looking up everything I could about cystic fibrosis. I, I corresponded with, with patients, doctors, some of the best facilities this country has to offer. A lot of them, they, they responded, they gave me information and support. Others never replied. I, I even looked up some holistic treatments, these crazy things, because that's the kind of peace of mind I wanted. That's the kind of reassurance that I craved. Now I realize that the whole time it was all about control. That I felt that, that if I, that if I knew everything going on with this disease and every facet of it, that, that maybe, maybe my sister might stay the chance. But then in the hospital, looking into her eyes for the last time, I realized something completely different. Some things can't be fought. And, and that should have been the day that I gave up that want, that need for control, but... I don't know. I mean, I mean, they would have been the perfect excuse. Nobody would have blamed me. But here I am again. Back to my same old routines, 
fighting something I don't fully understand and probably have no business fighting in the first place. I just wish I didn't have to hurt anybody along the way. But that's the whole point of fighting, isn't it? I'm no grave digger. I'm a filmmaker. Hmm. It's uh it's an email from Heather's old friend Casey. Looks like she has something she wants to show me. Andrew, this is difficult for me to send, but I think you ought to have a look. Here's one final video of Heather. I cannot believe this fucking shit. I cannot believe this. I see right through this! I fucking loved you. You wanted to marry me. You wanted to fucking marry me? Why don't you go marry him? You enjoyed it so fucking much. Is this the way you want it? Huh? You like it that way? Against your fucking will? I can't even look at you the same anymore. You're, you're all used up. I, And the worst part is, I like it. You like being dirty and used up. Please forgive me. Let you go and fuck everybody on campus that you can. You're hurting me. I'm trash, I'm fucking trash.